We're back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Man, Arky J. We just heading over here, seeing what, see what old Mike's up to. All right. So how's it? So everybody doing out there? Everybody doing good? Awesome. Yeah, just knocking down this series still. There's some more content out. <clears throat> wow. If you're new to the channel, I hope you like content and stay and welcome. Crap, really? And if you've been been here for a while, thank you for sticking around, chilling with me on this YouTube experience. I'm trying to get this out before I was hoping before the order, but it didn't work. <laughs> so here we are. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. All right, guys, we gotta go. Yeah, go in here and whoop some ass. So, what's been happening? 
you know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No. Tell everybody they should go. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to them. Oh, Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh. that's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what, what are you doing? Ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted to... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Inkslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, 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 it's not my chunk, okay? I'm already scarred down there. I'll get you. Brow. We got Ow. a big pain in the stomach. popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho! Ow! Just one. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Ah, let's not get him involved. Ah, let's do... Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? 
Some funny <laughs> shit. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop I wouldn't shot. put it on his face, so. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey. You're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. Hello. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like how? Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Enough, okay? Yes. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like rob actually somebody. rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. Stop. Trust me. 